Hello, I'm Patrick Nazmi, and you're watching Link TV. Hello, I'm here at the Engine Shed today with Patrick Nazmi, um, and he's just about to perform a set. Um, so, hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, I'm all right. You did the name right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> just about. <laughs> um, so, are you looking forward to your set today? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. Um, I haven't so slept a tremendous amount, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? So I've heard you've been to Lincoln before. Yes. Um, so like, what do you think about Lincoln from uh, what you've I'm experienced? never in it long enough to really know. I go to Harvest and Nando is my hotel and then the, <laughs> <than> the venue. <laughs> it's my extent of Lincoln. But I, from what I've seen so far of the Nando's and uh, the venue and the <laughs> cathedral that you have, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I do like it. Have you been up Steep Hill? Have you like done the no, walk? No, I haven't, no. Oh, it's really awesome. I've literally done nothing. Every time I come in, I'm always on a on a schedule, we're just like in and out, it's so annoying. You have to do it one day, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I will, I promise I will. Um, so we were just wondering, as you're here at like uni today, mm -hmm. um, if you had to pick like any course to do, like what would it be? You, know, you can't pick music because you're already like into oh, music. What? But I mean, we do offer like a lot of courses, so like it could be like science, I drama. Never went to, I never went to uni, so I don't know what, what's on <laughs> offer. Uh, can I pick... Uh, any particular subject area, generally? Like sport or...? Maybe psychology. Yeah. Cool. It's like you're reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I am reading your mind. Is that what? That's what everyone picks, though, isn't it? Isn't everyone picks psychology? Well, we're doing media, so. Oh, right, obviously. There's a lot of different. There's a lot of different courses. But okay, maybe I do media, and then we can hang out. Yeah, sure. You can guide me through it. <laughs> um, so, do you have like any um, tips for freshers? Because they're obviously like settling in. Do you have any? Um, like tips you could give them? Um, none that I could probably say on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't drink too much, I guess. Don't, I don't go overboard with the drinking, but they seem to drink less and less every year, so don't say that. Um, go and explore um, the city in general. Go and like go to alternative nights, mm -hmm. nights that aren't particularly like what everyone else is going to, because mm -hmm. you can. You, I, I, when I was f first started going out when I was 18, I used to go to nights that weren't the popular nights of the week, and it was like that was our little club. and. Yeah. Um, you discovered new music and never thought you liked to. Like, these are like your selfish years. Mm -hmm. So go off and go off and explore and uh, and actually go to your lectures because no one seems to really go to the lectures <laughs> from what I know. So if you're gonna do it and rack yourself up loads of debt and 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 waste not essentially not waste but yeah use that all, all that time between 18 and 21, the least you can do is learn something. <laughs> all right. Well, you've heard it here first. <laughs> Um, do you have any like good party tricks? What like anyone could do to try and like impress their friends or like make friends this week? What have I got? What, yeah. What's my party trick? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can DJ. <laughs> DJ. Good music um, makes a good party. I'm usually yeah. I'm usually quite. I'm usually the person with the Spotify playlists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never switched off. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll go for music as my party trick. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Um, so you've been like described as one of the UK's most promising and upcoming DJs. Mm. So like, how did you like get to this point? Like, what's what's been like? How did you break uh, through? I don't know. It's been like a, <laughs> a series of loads of different things. Like, uh, just just kind of stuck it stuck at it. Really, mm -hmm. just kept doing what I was doing. And um, this game, like the DJing game in the music industry, is all about kind of who you know, not mm -hmm. not so much what you know. Yeah. Um, which is quite a generic thing to say, but it is very true. So it's kind of just, I just built a, a bunch of networks and maintained them. So they just yeah. kept building up and building up. And now it's at a stage where I'm playing, I played like 15 countries in July. Mm -hmm. And I, and it's all me, like I did all my own bookings, I've managed myself, I do my yeah. flights, my logistics, invoicing, like absolutely everything from it, just because, yeah, because it's always been me. So it's, yeah, I suppose, so I don't even know where I am in the, in the in the picture of, <laughs> of DJs, but <laughs> yeah, I um, just stuck at it, just kept going. <laughs> and don't, you know, just don't sleep and eat badly and <laughs> smell all the time. Not joking, I always smell good. Um, so where's like the best place that you've been to? Like, because you've traveled quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah, um, uh, in terms of in terms of gig or in terms of like the, the best city? I say best city. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've just got I've just cut, I got in this morning well this afternoon from Vancouver okay. in Canada and mm -hmm. that place is amazing like um, it's really uh, it's quite a new city but mm -hmm. it's full of it's full of culture full of loads of different cultures loads of different people um, and it's yeah it's a really really good place to go drinking as well mm -hmm. but like that beer <laughs> yeah Vancouver's wicked that's probably because I've just got back from there and I was there for the weekend but so I'm a bit biased but yeah at the moment Vancouver <laughs> <laughs> in ten hours Lincoln. So do you prefer um, like big audiences like you've done in like Ibiza or do you prefer like smaller gigs where you do like um, intimately? 
it really depends. It depends on it depends on the crowd because sometimes you can play you can play really small shows mm -hmm. that really high energy yeah. and they get they get what you're trying to do and it can work. Like there's a place I play in Cardiff called uh, Welsh Club or fuck it's pronounced in a Welsh way and I'm not Welsh <laughs> so I won't try and do it and offend the people of Wales. Um, and it's like maybe 200 capacity and I do a hip hop night. It's my hip hop night called Brooklyn Zoo there and the last time I played there was the most fun I've had DJing mm -hmm. in about a year. Um, because everyone's just surrounding you. Everyone, there's no like stage, there's no barriers. Everyone's just completely around you. Similar to like a bit like a boiler room. Yeah. And for some reason I just played the complete right set for what they wanted and the energy was right next to me. Mm -hmm. It was like in my face. So I could really feel it. And then sometimes you can go and play, <coughs> you can go and play festivals with like 20,000 people and and they're miles away. You don't know what they want. You can't hear them scream. You can't, it's kind of like, so yeah, it's different. But then sometimes you play really big gigs and it's the exact same as those little ones times 100. So yeah. it really depends on the crowd um, and the style of set that you're playing. Mm -hmm. But um, but it is possible to, to, to have a have a better night DJing to 200 people yeah. than playing to 20,000, definitely. Fair enough. Um, so what have you got planned for like the rest of the year? Have you got any like secrets uh, you can tell Link to give you? Secrets? No, nothing really. <laughs> I'm very public about everything that I do. That's this <laughs> was the name of the game with me. Um, I'm playing, so I'm finishing off my Beta Rocks, well, my Beta residency this this week. Mm -hmm. um, and then straight into a Freshest tour. So this was the first of, of some Freshest dates I'm doing. So loads until the end of September. I'm playing about 25 shows in October, just across the UK and Ireland. Um, November, I'm going to go on holiday because I've <laughs> worked my ass off this summer. Uh, and then December, I'm going to Rise for a festival in the Alps um, and loads of Christmas stuff and mm -hmm. this and this. And then there's talk of doing New Year's Eve in Sydney, in Australia. Cool. Fingers crossed. <laughs> if it doesn't happen, it's not my fault. But yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing that's really secret. Just, uh, just more of the same old grind. <laughs> <laughs>